In this video, we are going to talk about the diagnosis of neurogenic thoracic outlet syndrome based on a society of vascular surgery for thoracic outlet syndrome. Get our very own assessment ebook and mobile app. Links are in the video description. Hi, and welcome back to Physio Tutors. The treatment of neurogenic thoracic outlet syndrome, abbreviated as NTOS, has been hampered by inconsistent definitions and diagnosis, which leads to uncertainty regarding treatment options and lack of consistent outcome measure. Illig et al. from the year 2016 of the Society for Vascular Surgery published reporting standards for TOS with the primary aim to provide a clear and consistent understanding and definition of what constitutes a diagnosis of NTOS. Following these criteria, ENTOS should be defined by the presence of three of the following four. 1. Local findings A. History Symptoms consistent with irritation or inflammation at the site of compression, either at the Scalene triangle or the pectoralis insertion, along with symptoms due to referred pain in the areas near the thoracic outlet. Patients may complain of pain in the chest wall, axilla, upper back, shoulder, trapezius region, neck or head, including headache. B. Examination. Pain on palpation of the aforementioned areas. 2. Peripheral findings. A. History. Arm or hand symptoms consistent with central nerve compression. Such symptoms can include numbness, pain, paresthesias, vasomotor changes and weakness, with muscle wasting in extreme cases. These peripheral symptoms are often exacerbated by maneuvers that either narrow the thoracic outlet, for example lifting the arms overhead, or stretch the brachial plexus, for example dangling, or driving, or walking and running. B. Examination. Palpation of the affected area, like the Scalene triangle or pectoralis minor insertion site, often reproduces the peripheral symptoms. Peripheral symptoms are often produced or worsened by provocative maneuvers that are believed to narrow the Scalene triangle, like the Roos test, also known as the elevated arm stress test, or to stretch the brachial plexus, like in the ULTT1. 3. Absence of other reasonably likely diagnoses like cervical disc disease, shoulder disease, carpal tunnel syndrome, chronic regional pain syndrome, brachial neuritis that might explain a majority of symptoms. 4. In those who undergo it, the response to a properly performed test injection is positive. In addition, most patients have prolonged symptoms for more than 6 months, deteriorate over time and have a history of trauma, although these factors are not required for the diagnosis. It has to be said that the subjective nature of many of these diagnostic findings contributes to the controversy surrounding the validity of the diagnosis of NTOS. Alright, this was our video on the diagnosis of thoracic outlet syndrome. If you want to learn how to perform the examination maneuvers mentioned earlier, click on the video right next to me. You can also find them in our assessment ebook and mobile app, of course. This was Kai for Physio Tutors. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.